there's three main pieces. Actually, just about two weeks ago, Adam Nelson, who um, is probably a four-time Olympian now, um, he did something very similar on this, and he had four or five components. I like to keep it a little bit more simple and keep the three. Um, desire, hard work, and genetics. Uh, it, it's, I don't know, I guess it's desire for me. All your eggs are in one basket, and that's what people don't, I think they don't understand, because the Olympics are every four years. You have to be on your game at the exact right time, or it's just not going to happen. Because in four years, you can get injured, and if the injury happens at the wrong time, it's over, and you have to wait four whole more years. Um, so we, this is probably the best analogy that we had that year. Um, and what I mean by that is, I mean everything. The time that you went to bed, the time you woke up, when you ate breakfast, when you ate lunch, um, when you went to practice, when you came home, when you saw a chiropractor, when you went to your, I mean, everything revolved around making the Olympic team. So, I mean, I even, the job that I had when I was training, I specifically chose because it worked around my training. So everything was committed to that goal. So it's a really, it sounds really great, but it can be really bad. <laughs> because if one of those things isn't going so well, you're like down in the bottom of the bucket. So you're having to drag yourself up every day and keep going to practice and keep doing what you're doing to try to get better. Um, and you have to remember when you're going through this, you know, you're waking up so tired, you're waking up sore, your back hurts, your knees hurt, and you just have to keep, it's cold. We had to train outside in January and February. It was miserable. I mean, there were days it was 32 degrees, somehow it was raining and it was windy and there was snow on the ground. So it was just, you know, miserable. So you just had to wake up every day because you wanted to do this so badly that you just drug yourself out of bed and you went. Um, and I really think that go, chasing a dream like this has changed, I mean, it changed my life because now I look at my own personal goals in the same way. I mean, I'm much older now and nowhere near in as shape as I was, but I still have goals that I'm pursuing like that. So it kind of was a, an eye-opening experience for me as, what was I, 24. 